guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video and today's video was requested and we're gonna check it out so shout out to jessica so we have another one from zach russian and this one is the tale of the the tale of opossum she told me to check it out so we're gonna check it out so if y'all watching this one please make sure you like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions and we're gonna get right on into this video let's go and i also like to apologize for any background noise that y'all may hear okay let's go okay i'm pretty sure i ain't the only damn one with this scenario going on in my life but i'm going to at least say that i I'm, i got a special case here okay now i'm sure that a bunch of y'all have a friend like this one i'm fitting to talk about i'm talking about the friend that's an asshole every group of friends has got one <laughs> And, and I got one, okay? The little son bitch's name is Possum. And this little motherfucker gets me in so much trouble that I, I don't know how the hell I'm not in jail. I don't understand it. I've had a couple close calls, but I just don't understand exactly how I'm not in jail. All right, so let me tell you about Possum, all right? He's about five foot five, about 138 pounds soaking wet. And this little son bitch is so fucking skinny, he ain't got a muscle on his whole body, but he's got what I like to call the little man syndrome. And when I say little man syndrome, I mean that he thinks he's way fucking bigger than what he is. So I got a little story for you. A while back, me and Possum and the Triple B boys, that's my Bass Bucks and Birds buddies. That's my hunting club. That's what that's the Triple B hat that you see me wearing all the time. That's the uh that that's that's the boys there. That's what that's that's your drinking buddies. That's your deer camp buddies, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, me and the Triple B boys went out to Buffalo Wild Wings just to all catch up and get us a beer and some hot wings and stuff like that. Now, after the damn Buffalo Wild Wings went went down possum looks at me and said hey boy game's about to come on let's run down here to the juke joint and watch the game keep on drinking i said well, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop you know roll tide let's roll he said all right you driving which means that possum's about halfway drunk already because little son bitch will not drink and drive so you got to respect that now with that being said i have done drank about two pitchers of beer along with my buddies and my stomach's feeling kind of full from the medium-sized hot wings that i got in the parmesan garlic flavor so by the time we get to the damn juke joint, I don't want to drink beer no more. All right, but he's convinced me in the game zone and I ain't ready to go home yet. Well, we walk up in the juke joint and the first thing I do is head straight to the bar because that's what you do at the juke joint. You ain't there to play fucking checkers. You go there to drink beer or some kind of liquor. So I go up in there to the bar and I've done decided in my brain that I'm not going to drink no more beer because I'm already looking like a pregnant woman. It's 32 weeks. So I go on in there and I order me a... Uh, well, what I ordered, I ordered me a crown apple and Sprite. I said, all right, that Sprite will settle my stomach and that yeah, crown apple's just good, period, damn. Well, the damn juke joint that we went to was having a, uh, uh, what do they call that thing out there in Hawaii where you wear the grass skirts, a uh, luau, luau theme. So this little son of a bitch behind the bar hands me a crown apple and Sprite and some kind of foo-foo glass with a fucking umbrella in it and a little bitty red straw. Keep that in mind, that's gonna play a factor here in just a second. Now. As we walk in, we've probably been there about two and three quarter minutes, and I, out of my right ear, which is my good ear, I hear a ruckus. And normally when I'm with the Triple B boys and we go somewhere, the ruckus normally involves us, and it, it normally involves mm. possum. Well, I have turned around by this time with my little foo-foo drink, <laughs> and possum has walked square up in this juke joint and found the biggest motherfucker in this place and done knocked his ass off his bar stool. And he says, son bitch, that's my fucking bar stool. I'm here now. Let me paint a picture for you, okay? This son bitch outweighs possum by about 150 pounds. He's about my size, maybe a little bit smaller, but not damn much, but he looks scrappy as shit. And possum has just DDT'd this son bitch off his fucking bar stool. So by the time that this other big motherfucker stands up, he is screaming mad. I'm talking about madder than two old wet hens. Screaming at Possum. And Possum's got a look on his face like he ain't got a fucking care in the world. I'm talking about he's just looking at you just like this. Double blinking his eyes. Like he got something to say, but he ain't unleashed it yet. Well, right about the time that that big son bitch got mad enough to knock him the fuck out, Possum turns around, looks at me, and goes, Zach, get him. 
Now let me paint this picture for you. He's yelling, Zach, get him. Like he done walked in there like he's the fucking Hulk. Knocked a big son of a bitch off his fucking bar stool for no damn reason. I am standing over there with a foo-foo glass that looks like a fucking margarita, drinking my crown apple and Sprite out of a glass and a red little bitty straw with an umbrella in it. And I normally, I mean, I, I'm fully aware that I am a big son of a bitch. Now, before I go any further, I do want to let you know that nine out of ten times when you see me, I'm a big son of a bitch. I mean, I am 276 pounds of twisted blue steel and sex appeal. All right, I got a size 15 foot that'll stomp a mud hole in anybody's ass and walk that motherfucker dry and hands big enough to make a double D titty look like a Granny Smith apple. All right, but at this current time, with me drinking out of this glass and, sick and, si and sipping it through a damn little bitty red stirring straw, all my intimidation factors are no longer in play. I look like a big ass bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. And the fact that that little motherfucker put me in this situation really irks me. But at that current time, that's not where your brain's at. Your brain is that that little motherfucker's about to die and you got to go help him. So as I sat down my damn drink and go walking over there, I was in more of a trot, but I don't run. You don't mark me down for cardio because I don't speak Spanish. But as I walk <laughs> over there, that big, that other big son bitch realizes that this is fitting to be a real knockdown drag out. And I ended up having to damn calm down the situation where it did not escalate any further because me and the damn courthouse and all the jail cells and stuff, we don't get along real, real well. But after I got that little motherfucker outside that damn juke joint, I about beat him my fucking self. Now, I cannot be the only one with a friend like this. There's no way that I got the only friend in the world that I would take a fucking bullet between the eyes for or jump in front of a moving train to make sure that he didn't get hurt. And that some bitch is putting me in dangerous situations. I have no problem being their protector when we ain't doing nothing wrong. Because nine out of ten times we doing something wrong. But you live for that one time that we not doing nothing wrong. I have no problem protecting his ass. And I've never whipped a uh, grown man before. But I was about two and three quarter seconds away from bending his little fucking ass over my knee and taking my damn Levi belt off and wearing that ass the fuck out. <laughs> I just want a little backup here that I ain't the only one dealing with this situation. Now, I understand that a lot of y'all probably got some friends close to this, but if they ain't never done some shit like that, I'm fucking winning. He keeps on with me, I'm gonna post his ass in one of these fucking videos and I want y'all to flood his inbox just to piss him the fuck off. Shit. Oh snap. Oh my god, like bro <laughs> They got I ain't got no friends like that, but golly about to get that man killed. You like this started causing a problem and you Oh my god, I love his stories. Like, so far, this is the third one, and I'm just falling in love. Like, <laughs> oh my god, just by him telling the problems, I can like, imagine, like, mm, 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 mm. and he calling him to come handle his battles. Like, nah, you started that, you finish it yourself. Like, anybody got time for that? We're like, oh, but he still has his back. That's what you call a good friend, like, regardless of the situation. Whether you wanted to be in or not, he still had his friend back, so that was awesome. But, like, bro, I didn't ask for this. You came, you said you wanted to come watch the game and have some fun and drinks like that. Nah, you been starting trouble. Like, we didn't even get in here good, and you already causing the issue, causing the problem, causing the situation. Like, nah, <laughs> let's go. We got to go. <laughs> oh, my God. This was hilariously funny. And, like... Be careful who your friends are. Like, they gonna get you with some mess, but you gotta love them. Like, come on now, you do, you do. Anyway, got anyway, guys. If y'all enjoyed this reaction, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, shout out to Jessica for su su suggesting this. I can see why it was <laughs> funny. Like, <laughs> comment down below any more suggestions. Hit the subscribe button, turn that red button gray, please. Thank you. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.